Hello, welcome to CarPros. Today we're going to show you how to test for vacuum leaks. First, we're going to inspect vacuum hoses for dilapidation or cracks. This will cause the engine to stall, idle poorly, and hurt gas mileage. Vacuum lines can become hard due to underhood temperatures which produce an unwanted vacuum leak. Next, we're going to remove the old vacuum line and check for blockage, then install new replacement hose. This can be done by using a vacuum or a fuel hose. After you check for more broken lines, we can use some carb cleaner here to check for more leaks. After starting the engine and allowing it to idle, spray the cleaner near and around the throttle bore gasket. If the gasket has failed, the engine will react to the spray by increasing the engine idle speed as the cleaner is burned. If the engine is idling rough, it will temporarily smooth out as the cleaner is consumed. Continue testing by spraying around the intake manifold plenum and base gaskets while observing engine speed. If the gasket has failed, the engine speed will increase. Now we're going to move on to external components such as the EVAP control solenoids, valves, and connections while still observing the engine speed. A large amount of vacuum is used to work the brake booster and can allow major leaks. Spray around the brake booster while observing engine speed. Also, an audible hissing noise can sometimes be heard coming around the brake pedal when the brakes are applied, which also indicates the brake booster has failed. Next, we're going to check small vacuum tubes for cracks and broken pieces. These tubes provide vacuums to many accessories such as the heater and air conditioner. Leaks under the dashboard near the heater plenum can also occur. This is the vacuum line for the blend door actuator motor. If your vehicle is not differentiating between vents, this is most likely your culprit. Once we're inside the vehicle, we're going to switch on the air conditioning or heater and make sure the ventilation is coming out of the proper vents, from the front vents to the foot wells to the defrost on the windshield. If you found a broken vacuum line, we're going to use a small piece of vacuum hose to act as a connector which will repair the issue and return the heater, defroster, and air conditioner to proper operation.
And finally, a vacuum gauge or tester can be used to check an external system for additional leakage. This is done by disconnecting the vacuum tube from the vacuum source, the engine, and attaching it to the tester. Pump the tester and observe the vacuum. It should hold vacuum if the system is working properly. Please note that a small amount of seepage is completely normal. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.